much said your hellos and your applause, but I want you to pretend like I never introduced you to the dancing machine that is Ted Gowans. On the guitar, playing keyboards, Ted Gowans! Very impressive tonight, Ted. I gave you a hard time the other night because I didn't feel like you were dancing enough. This was great. One of these days you're gonna start, like, do some break dancing. Yeah? I don't want him to break dance. All right. Okay, so next up, in the middle of the stage, I'm going to try not to objectify any of the guys on stage. I think it goes without saying that they are all above average attractiveness, but sometimes I just feel like I call out on that fact a little too much. Because the truth is, even if John was super gnarly looking, I would still think that he was a fabulous keyboard player. So please, for the totally great, skilled, who cares what he looks like, John Spence on keyboards! Love that mustache. He's very tall. He's very, very, very quiet but funny, subtle guy because he's got Australian humor. You could never pick up on that from his bass playing because it's the opposite of subtle, okay? He's, he's the machine behind the low end. It's Jasper Leak over here. <laughs> By that little wee keyboard. <laughs> okay, you guys, last but not least. He is by far and away the most attractive person on this stage, and he is just a, he's a masterful drummer. I don't usually have chucked by him, and I think it's because I'm, I'm totally intimidated by his drumming skills. All right, the incredibly handsome and talented drummer, Adam Criscow. You guys, right here. When we get off stage, this is all we talk about is the introductions. If they went well, if the band likes them, but Sarah, when she does the introduction, she focuses on their looks. I do. I don't know what it is. It means I guess I'm a very vain person. Yeah. I'm a very vain person. But there's one last attractive group of people I would love for you to give a massive round of applause to. Seriously, blow the roof off this place. Our favorite band in the world, Diana. <laughs> They're so good. If you weren't here, you really missed out, and I would probably just go buy something with Diana's name on it just to be like, yeah, I totally saw Diana when I opened for Tegan and Sarah. Like, of course I did. We're gonna do two more songs, and then we're gonna be done. So, if you have something, <laughs> I know, it's devastating. <laughs> don't try it. Don't be, don't be too upset, because we pretty much always come out for an encore, so you don't have to do anything. Um, these are gonna be our last two songs, but it's deeply, 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 Intense for us, obviously, with all the with all the letters and all the all the all the feelings that you share. But the truth is, is that what we mostly get off on every single night is your energy. And thank you so so much for bringing it tonight. We really appreciate it. Now I'm gonna just now I'm just gonna scream hysterically in your face for the next four minutes to, to show you how much I love you. Here we go. <laughs> Even your name 
Oh, man.